Hey guys and welcome back to another Dark Fold tutorial. Today we're going to be doing this effect which is the eye colour change and it's quite similar to the last tutorial we've done which was the sci-fi eyes and there's only going to be a few different um, method changes that we're going to be doing. So what I'm going to do is change this from the 3D view to the movie clip editor and now we can load in our movie clip. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is scrub through the timeline and we want to see where our end frame is. I'm going to say mine's around frame 200. That should be enough. And you also want to prefetch the movie clip. So we just jump to the first frame and select prefetch. Okay, so the way this effect works, we're going to be creating a, a couple of masks, and then masks are going to be moved by some markers. So I'm going to be tracking these uh, reflections in his eyes to be moving everything, um, but we also will have to do a couple frame by frame uh, animations, keyframes, which is not going to be a big deal. So let's just uh, change this from location to rotation. Let's just change this to previous frame and select normalize. So now when we control and right click we can add a new marker and also we want to come down here to where it under marker display and we want to select search so we can see what it's searching, see where it's searching for. Okay so now you want to press S to scale this up, make it a little bit bigger. About there should be fine and you also want to increase the search size. Now the more you increase this the slower everything's going to be but um, the track will be a lot cleaner. If you find that it stops halfway through, you just want to increase that a little bit. Okay, so it stops around here where the eye starts to close. Um, but we want to just delete some of these frames, some of these tracks. So we just go back a few frames and we'll see where the eye t starts to close. And we want to choose clear. So we just want to do the same thing to the other eye. Okay, so when you're happy with your two markers, uh, the next thing we're going to do is add some masks. So change it from tracking to mask mode. And then we can add a new mask. And this is going to be for the eyes. So you select new and we can rename this. Name this eyes. And we zoom in here a little bit. We'll start with this eye first. And what you want to do is left click and it adds the, uh, the 2D cursor. And then we come up here to add and we can add a circle. We just come down here to the bottom on the left hand panel, we can increase the size this way rather than actually moving the points individually, which can be a bit of a pain. So just increase it to the size of the eye. You can actually do it a little bit smaller if you want, um, but it won't matter because we're going to be using some nodes later on to help us change the size of it. So just put it to the size that you want and get it in position. And make sure you're doing this on the end frame. Select. So with that mask selected, you can press Control, then right click on the marker, like so. And now if we press Ctrl and P, we can make, uh, make it apparent. So now the mask will follow the, the marker up to a certain point, like so. And these last few frames here, we're just going to manually um, add some keyframes. So let's just do that now. If we jump to the, um, yeah, we jump to say frame 52, which was the last frame that it moved, then we can select the automatic keyframe, which is that red dot there. And now we press left arrow on the keyboard and we can jump left and right on the frames. Press G to grab and move it in position. So we're just going to keep doing that now. Press left arrow on the keyboard, then press G to move the circle and put it in position. And just keep doing that until you've finished. So press G to grab. If you hold shift as well, it will move uh, a, lot, a lot more slowly, so it'll give you more control over the movement. You're finished, you just want to move it out of the frame. So make sure it works. Let's turn that back off. What we need to do now is just rename this for right, well, without caps. Right, because that's going to be the right mask. This mask is going to have two layers, the left and the right, so we can actually um, so everything works fine. So add a new mask here for the le the left side. 
and make sure you've got the left one selected so we can add the new mask here. Left click to add the 2D cursor, add a circle, and repeat the process that we just did on the right side. You might want to take your time when you're doing this. I obviously took uh, less time to do it because it's been a while since I uploaded a tutorial. I just wanted to get it out quick. But the more time you take on it, the better the effect will look. Okay, so with the um, the first mask done, what we need to do now is create a second mask. So we just add the plus here. Select the plus. And this will add our second mask. And these are going to be for the eyelids. So you can name this whatever you want. I just can name it Eye Mask. Very original. And uh, yeah, so we haven't got a, a button we can press for this. We're going to have to put these in manually. So you want to control and right click, and it'll add a point. And let's add one here too, and then here, and finally here. Then you want to press Alt C, and this will close the mask. And you'll have this weird diamond shape. <laughs> As we press B to box select and select these points, we also again want to name this right because we're going to be creating two layers like we did before. So yeah, box select this, and then press V. And we're going to change this to aligned. If you've not used the masks on in Blender before, it can be a, a bit of a pain because <laughs> you've got this weird sort of shape now. Um, but after you play with it for a while, you, you do get used to it. So it's about these handles here. You move these handles about and try and position it in a way that you need it to. So I'm just going to right click in the middle dot here and then press R to rotate. I'm going to do that for all of them to get sort of a, an, an ellipse shape. To get a bit more friendly shape for us. And then you can uh, select the handles and move them closer to the middle, and they'll give you a bit more, um, yeah, a bit more of what you need it to. So just get the nice shape that you need. Take your time, and then you want to do the same thing. You want to box select them, shift, and then select the uh, the marker, and then Control P to make it apparent. So obviously it works up until a certain point, and then we're going to have to start adding some uh, manual keyframes like we did before. So for, let's find the frame where it worked last. This is the good frame. Let's turn on automatic keyframe, so that red dot at the bottom. And now, like before, you just want to uh, press left on the keyboard, left arrow on the keyboard, and just uh, press G to grab. And you want to move these points. And again, the more time you take doing this step, the better it will look. Um, I'm probably going to take it less time than I should take on this. But I just want to get through it a bit quick for you. I'm just going to uh, zoom through here. Just move each point and then press G to grab. Then left click in the position that you want it. Then left on the arrow. Okay, so when you get into the end here, like we did with the eyes, we just want to just move it out of frame. And there we go. That's the first side done. So jump to the end frame again and we're going to add a new layer. Name this left. And like we did with the first side, we're going to do exactly the same thing. So we're going to just press Control and right click. Box select, press V, and we want it to select aligned. And then I line it up. Again, the steps that you take here, this step's quite important, uh, you want to take more time. I didn't actually mask out the um, the eyelashes, which you probably should have done, uh, unless it's a glowing light behind the eye that shines through, you won't actually see it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's trial and error, I guess, with how it looks. So once you've done what you're happy with your masks, we can then change this to the node editor. And as always, select scene, use nodes, and backdrop. Let's just tidy things up here. I'm going to get rid of this render layers and import a movie clip. And let's just connect these up. Okay, and select the movie clip we've been working on. Okay, so what we're going to do is press Shift A and we want to go to Input and add in our masks that we created. Let's come over here and we can select this icon and change it to Eyes. That was the first one we did. I want to Shift D and we can duplicate this. And we change this one to the other mask, the Eye Mask. 
Okay. And if we just isolate these, we can see what they're doing. Uh, the masks that we created, and obviously the animated since we used the keyframes. All looks fine. We can also select anti-alias, makes it look a little bit better. Okay, so what I want to do is press Shift A, put a uh, color, and we want to do choose mix. Let's connect these up. You want to select the uh, bring out the image and also connect it into the bottom. And we want to use this as a factor, this mask. So as you see right now, nothing's changed. So if you isolate both of them, literally nothing's changed, which is how we want it to be. And if we add in a color, RGB curves, and we want to select this, put this on the bottom node, the bottom string. Okay, just connect these up. This RGB curves now will affect the colors of the eyes. Just select blue since his eyes are already blue and decrease the blue, it will then turn it to green. And it's very natural. Um, if you want it to go brighter, change, select green. So at the moment, obviously, things are a bit too bright. And if we can see, we've, um, we need to add the other mask to make sure it all looks nice. So we just select the other mask, and we can, what we can do is add these two masks together, um, or even easier, we can just duplicate this, mix node, just connect these up. And then what you want to do is select the original image and select put that into the bottom input, and use the, fact, the other mask as the factor. You see it's the opposite way around, so what we need to do is shift A, add a color, and then go to invert, and there you go. So it's looking a little bit better now. The uh, the eyes again, the colours change completely. It's a lot more brighter. So just select clamp on these. Okay, so now everything's tidy. We can um, add a few more nodes to make things look a little bit better. So what we want to do is we zoom in here. We can see that the uh, the edges are very sharp. So we could have we could have feathered the mask before. Or what we can do now is just add a new node. So we just press. Uh, we're going to use this mask here. So we press Shift A, and we want a filter, and then dilate erode. Then we want to change the mode from step to feather. And now when we um, decrease the, the distance, we can see it becomes a bit more feathered. And it also brings back that original color, which we want as well. The original dark line around the eyes. If we go in the opposite direction, we can see it, you know, it, push, it expands the mask, which is what we don't want. We want to just decrease the mask a little bit. So now it looks much better. So you just play around with these, these values on the RGB curves and you can get loads of different colours, make it a bit darker, look a bit more realistic, um, or you can go a bit brighter, a bit more uh, fantasy-like. If you see the original and the changes that we made, it's, it's a big improvement. Um, so yeah, just play around with these colours and you can get, um, get any colour you want. So we just delete this. What we can do instead is, if you want, you can add a colour and mix. So put this on the bottom input value. And we just select the colour you want and change the mode to multiply. I mean, I find there's more, uh, you have more control when it's the RGB curves. You want to go brighter colours or, you know, whatever you want. But if you just want a simple colour change, then yeah, you just change this to the multiply. Just change the colour you want. Also, if you want to play around with the uh, the blend values on this mix node here, I mean, I found that if you change this to burn, and then get rid of this invert node, you can make the eyes look <laughs> really demon-like. So yeah, I hope this tutorial helped. Um, if it did, make sure you give it a like. Yeah, so thanks for watching.